Good morning, Mount Gilead Church. It's good to be back with you again. I've had a long relationship with this church. It goes back several decades, actually. But today I'm here to represent Christian Arabic Services, which is headquartered in Cairo, Egypt, but uh, is led by Dr. Safa Fami and his good wife, Mona Fami. One of the things that is a part of that ministry is uh, putting together a set of Bible commentaries in the Arabic-speaking language. Believe it or not, there are 400 million Arabic-speaking people in the Middle East, and there had never been a Bible commentary series in that particular language. I'm sure that some of you are asking, well, what else does Christian Arabic services do besides just put together Bible commentaries? Already this year, 2021, there are two new congregations that have been established in uh, the Cairo area, uh, put together with over 200 congregations that CAS has either planted or has reopened. Here's an exciting thing. This summer, 50,000 boys and girls will take part in Vacation Bible School sponsored by CAS all across the land of Egypt and actually in some other countries as well. Perhaps uh, the most impactful ministry, though, is our partnership with Hope International University, Egypt. They have agreed to um, grant the degrees that are fully accredited. And we have hundreds of men and women from all across the Arabic-speaking world that come together on our several campuses there to get Bible college education or seminary education, and then to go back to the mission field where they're able to lead the church in doing what the Lord commissioned the church to do in the first place. Oh, of course, there's medical work and there's charity work. There's so many different things that are going on there even right now as we speak. Um, and the fact of the matter is we have Bible correspondence courses, over 10,000 people are involved in those. But of course the ultimate aim is to win people to Christ. And I'm thankful to say that over the years thousands of people have come to Christ through this particular ministry. I know I don't have time to go on and on, so I'll simply say to you, uh, As-salamu alaykum, which is the only Arabic I know, which uh, basically means uh, peace be unto you. And that's my prayer for you. It's certainly my prayer for the Arabic-speaking world. And uh, may God grant that prayer. Amen.